The Bible says, fill your hungry soul with what's good. When we eat, we share, we grow. Every meal is a chance to be fed and to feed someone else. Life is like cooking. When it works, it doesn't matter if the process is fancy or simple. Good food and a life well lived comes down to how much heart you put in. Welcome back to the second video of our Thanksgiving series. We're going to be making our family's cranberry sauce. This is the first recipe that the kids in our family learned when they wanted to help with the Thanksgiving meal. It's super simple and there's no reason that you need to buy the canned stuff anymore. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to put the cranberries in your saucepan. You also want to make sure that they're fully rinsed and that you pick out any of the icky ones or the ones that look bad or you know that aren't nice and plump looking. Some of them can be kind of shriveled. So go ahead and stick a whole bag. I think we used one bag, which is the equivalent of 12 ounces. So we're just gonna put all of those in. So you're gonna go ahead and zest one orange, but you wanna make sure that you don't get any of the white part, the, that's called the pith, and it'll make it really bitter. So only do the orange part of the orange. Pretty simple to remember. We're gonna go ahead and add the orange juice. And if you can make it fresh squeezed, it's gonna be better. We're gonna go ahead and add the sugar as well. And the vanilla extract. Give it a good stir. And then we're gonna take it over to the stove. An interesting fact about cranberries is that they were introduced to the Plymouth settlers by the native people already here in America. The native fishermen were using them not only as a source of food, but because they have such a high source of vitamin C, it prevented seasickness. Turns out that cranberries were actually a life-saving food for the colonists. What we can learn from this is to be open to new experiences. You never know what life has in store for you. The settlers were starting a new life in a new landscape and ended up in a place they didn't expect. Their lives depended on being open-minded, not that they really had a choice. I know I have felt like that before, maybe not as dramatic as the people on the Mayflower, but I've had to let go of some old ideas and be open to learning new ways of handling what life throws at me. I always think it's fun to learn about where our food traditions come from. We are eating the same thing as the people in the early 17th century. If we pay attention to what we're eating and why we hold up these traditions year after year, we discover a rich history. Not only the history of this nation, but also a spiritual history, a spiritual lesson in everything that we do. So remember when you're making this to be open. Cranberry saved lives served as medicinal purposes, and made life better for the early colonists. And they're pretty tasty too. Don't be afraid to add stuff to it. Sometimes we add walnuts, sometimes we add pistachios. If you wanna use different kinds of citrus, you can always do that. Make it your own and make your own family tradition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.